A burden that lasts for a long time. That's not exactly how I see Ollie. But legally, you can terminate a Down's pregnancy right up to birth, as Down syndrome is classed as a severe disability. And if you look at the leaflets the NHS hand out to mothers when they get the diagnosis, it does sound severe. I mean, I, I, you know, complications, heart problems, gut problems, hearing problems, vision problems, thyroid problems, dementia. I think that just makes you frightened. A medical description will only list all the possible things that could go wrong. And um, it's not then compared with the list of all the possible things that could go wrong with a typical person. I mean, how would you describe yourself? Are you a, a chromosomally typical? Are you neurotypical? I'm a ne neurotypical person with 46 chromosomes who had childhood asthma and who has a family history of glaucoma. Does that describe me? To me, Down syndrome is much more than a list of possible health problems. But that's because I know Ollie. 